Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The Nikon Z6, the Nikon Z7 mirrorless full frame cameras have been officially announced. And they're pretty much, from what I can tell, everything we were hoping they would be. Everything we were promised, all the leaks, the rumors, it all seems to pretty much have come true. But, interestingly enough, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to find some points to pick, but right off the bat, we've got a major YouTuber already not recommending them to pros. I actually stumbled across this reading Kirk Tuck's website, the Visual Science Lab. As you know, I quite enjoy reading Kirk's stuff. I often talk about uh, points or thoughts he's uh, brought up that I've been thinking about myself and have a counterpoint to or are thinking through. Um, in any case, uh, his article, it's already started, the Nikon Zs won't ship till the end of September earliest, and already the YouTube reviewers have found a major point of contention. So that caught my eye, and uh, he says, here it is. Tony Northrop will be recommending that professional photographers not purchase the Z6 or Z7 because, wait for it, the camera does not feature dual card slots. This is his position having not used either camera, and I will be interested to see if his position changes once she is delivered to New York City, feted and entertained by Nikon's PR agency, who will, no doubt, provide a rational and, uh, rational and defensible argument as to why going forward. So this is uh, interesting, and uh, the article here is really interesting. I recommend you have a read through it. Basically, he kind of takes a tongue-in-cheek rebuttal to Tony. And I did go over and uh, have a look at Tony's video. Um, at first, he kind of does it softly at first, and, and when he starts with the Z6, then when he gets into the Z7, but he basically is really saying what Kirk says here, that he doesn't recommend it to photographers, pro photographers, simply because of the single card slot which is an interesting position, and we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, Kirk uh, makes an interesting point. I think he's kind of neutral on the idea. Well, actually, he says, I'm neutral on the whole dual card slot imbroglio. However, he does kind of counter it tongue-in-cheek. He goes on to say that, of course, he would never go on a shoot, and I'm, gonna, I'm paraphrasing here, without uh, two light stands and two tripods and dual uh, flashes and dual cameras and dual memory cards, and dual cars, and dual bags, and uh, he's even considered but hasn't yet uh, done dual wives. Uh, always has dual assistants, though, in case one assistant fails, uh, which is just silly and but funny, making the point that um, perhaps that is a little bit over the top, saying that as a professional, we couldn't use these Z6 and Z7 cameras because of their single card slot. So I went over and I watched the video from Tony, and Tony does seem to like the cameras, but he does come down on that, um, pretty much like Kirk said, that he couldn't recommend it to professionals over the use of one card slot. And this is interesting, especially because I just recently watched a video from Tony saying where he'd made a mistake, that the Canon 6D Mark II was amazing. In fact, he said it was his favorite or the best vlogging camera ever, something to that extent. Granted, vlogging, maybe he's not considering that professional use. But there we have a camera, uh, I guess you could argue a mid-level camera, that is one single card slot and not a problem, apparently. Um, and I thought of all the cameras I've shot over the years that don't have dual card slots. Uh, namely, the, one of the first ones that came to mind was the D700, which is a cult classic. Many people still love this camera. In fact, I believe there's a bit of a sales run on them right now. Possibly Kirk started that himself um, just because people are realizing that these things are still amazing imaging cameras. But I know lots of pros that shot a pair of D700s as their main setup for professional work, for events and weddings. Uh, I know a lot of wedding photographers that that was their setup. Single card slots, folks. So kind of interesting that uh, a lot of professionals for a long time, I've used cameras, D700, a great example, um, the, and still do. I mean, I think there's pros out there shooting the 6D Mark II as a full-frame professional setup. A pair of those, not a bad setup. Um, they only have one card slot. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to have two card uh, slots. And obviously, the, the, the issue we're talking about here and what Tony's referring to is with two card slots, you can set the camera up to basically record to both the same image. In other words, you're creating a backup file immediately. And that's not a bad thing, but I'm, I, I think it might be a little over the top to say it is a necessary thing or that we can't recommend a camera that doesn't have dual card slots for pro use. I think um, 
I think really that I can't think of the last time I had a card fail. I think they've come a long way. And I think if you're using, as I think Kirk points out, brand name cards, the likelihood of you having a card failure is very, very small. I mean, touch wood. I can't remember the last time I had one fail. And I think most people, if they think about it, can't either. Uh, And I have shot a lot of events and weddings with cameras like the D700 that have only one card slot. Now, there is a much bigger issue with um, the single card slot. And you know what? We'll get to that in a second video because I want your response or your thoughts on this. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you think Tony's concern here with it only having a single card slot is a little overblown? Is it a deal killer for you? Were you all excited about the Z6 and the Z7, the new mirrorless from Nikon, and now you won't be buying one because they have single card slots? I'm just curious. See, to me, that would not even be a consideration on whether or not I would buy these cameras for pro use or hobby use, what, whatever, doesn't matter. Not even a consideration for me. I guess because I've had so many years of shooting with cameras that only had one, the dual card slot thing is, is kind of a bonus, but it's not a necessity for me. And I certainly wouldn't turn down an amazing tool because it only had one card slot. But I'm just curious, how many of you agree with Tony that this negates them as an option, that you wouldn't use them? Uh, and is it only for pro work? Pro work? Would this be a problem for you with if you're only shooting hobbyist work, if you're not shooting paid work? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments below how you, where you come down on this issue of single card slots and does it rule out a camera, in this case, the Z6 and the Z7, but essentially we could extend that to any camera because that's basically what Tony's saying. He can't recommend any camera that has a single card slot for professional use. I'm just curious. Do you agree with that or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your position is and why. I'm just curious. I'd like to take the pulse of you guys and see. Like, am, are you are more of you like myself, where it's it's a bonus, but it's not really an issue, or are more of you thinking Tony's got it right and uh, you wouldn't use the camera because it has a single card slot? Just curious. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Keep it civil and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.